Hi, guys and gals. Al Smith here. Today, we're going to talk about the Walsh Convention. If you look at your convention card, you're going to find a box that says frequently bypasses four plus diamonds. Well, that bypassing four plus diamonds is called Walsh. Let's take a look at this. Okay, we're only going to use Walsh after our partner opens one club and the first opponent passes. This sets the stage for potentially using Walsh because the responder can bid one diamond. And the responder is only cons going to consider using Walsh when they have four plus diamonds and exactly four hearts and or four spades. No, you do, to be having a hand that you can respond, you need to have six plus 20 points. Okay, let's look at this in the context of standard American without Walsh. Okay, with the above hand with six plus points and four plus diamonds and four hearts and or four spades, which, what are you going to bid? You're going to bid one diamond. Okay, you're not going to mention one heart. You're not going to bid one heart or one spade. Okay. If the second opponent bids one spade after the responder bids one diamond, the responder is, and the responder has four hearts, the responder is never going to get the opportunity to bid, show the heart suit later if they've got less than or equal to 11 points. Okay, so by bidding one diamond, they're forfeiting the opportunity of potentially finding a four a heart fit could be 4-4, four, four, could be a little bit better, but typically it's a 4-4 four, four fit. The same is true if after the one diamond, the second opponent bids one no trump. Now, even if you've got four hearts and four spades, your the, the ability to, to show that to your partner is gone. Okay, now let's look at it in the context of Walsh. Okay, Walsh, if the responder uh, has less than or equal 11, 11 length points is going to bid the four card major by passing bidding one diamond. We'll talk in more detail about this and look at several examples. And that's one dimension of Walsh. The other dimension of Walsh is by the opener. <coughs> if the responder bids one diamond, okay, what the opener is going to do if they've got a balanced hand in 12 to 14 points is to bid one no trump by passing, showing one heart or one spade. Okay, and if the opponent that obstructs the opponents from being able to uh, to find a major suit fit. Now, uh, there's a little bit more to that. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, how to use Walsh? Okay, we're going to use this one. We've got four plus diamonds and six plus point points. Okay. So bids with, uh, you're going to bid one diamond if you've got a regular diamond bid, four plus diamonds, no four card major and six plus points, okay? What you're really saying is, hey, one diamond is my natural bid, okay? Now, you're also going to bid one diamond if you've got four hearts and four spades and 12 plus length points, okay? What you've got here is you're planning on bidding a responder reverse. You're going to bid one diamond, then after your, the opener makes his or her second bid, you're going to show the major, showing your partner you've got at least four plus diamonds, four hearts, four, four spades, and 12 plus points. So this is a way of communicating both your shape and your points using the responder reverse. Okay, you're going to bid you're going to bypass bidding one diamond to show a four card major if you've got less than or equal to 11 length points because you're not going to be able to bid a responder reverse. So you're going to bid one heart with four plus diamonds and uh, four hearts and four spades or four plus diamonds and four hearts. Okay, So in essence, you're just ignoring for the temporarily that you have four plus diamonds and bidding the lowest ranking major. And obviously you're gonna bid one spade if you've got four spades and four plus diamonds, okay. So that's the basics. Okay, now we've gotta really look at the Walsh to understand it and its effects, okay. So the opener second bid, now this is really important. 
This is the second half of Walsh. We saw the first half where the responder is going to give priority to the bidding the major with less than or equal 11 points. So after, if the responder bids one diamond, the opener doesn't know whether he's got a natural diamond bid or he's planning to bid a responder reverse. So uh, one of the things, if after the the responder, if the if the opener, if the if if the if the responder bids anything other than one diamond, everything is just the same as standard as standard as regular standard American. If the responder bid one diamond, an opener has an unbalanced hand with a singleton and void and a four card major. The opener is going to bid one heart and or one spade. What By bidding the one heart or one spade, the opener is saying, hey, partner, I've got an unbalanced hand. So that says they also probably have at least four plus clubs, okay? And probably shortness in uh, the, uh, uh, well, it could, have, it could have been a short club. So there's quite a few variations there, but he's saying, I've got an unbalanced hand. So I'm not really that interested in no trap. I'm looking for a suit fit. Okay, the opener is going to bid one no trump if there's no other more appropriate bid, you know, bidding an open reverse or rebidding their suit, et cetera. Okay, so we've got 12 to 14 high card points. What they're going to do, even if they have four hearts and four spades, the opener is going to bid one no trump bypass and showing the major. Now, why would the, uh, the opener do that? Well, because he knows the responder is going to make a responder reverse if they've got a four card major and 12 plus points, and that they're always going to go ahead and find the four four major suit fit because of that. And that, and they're going to be, and then they can explore a game from there. Okay. What this also does is obstructs the opponents from being able to bid one heart, one spade. For example, if it goes one club, pass, one diamond, pass, and then it opener bids one no trump, that first opponent can't bid one heart or one spade. You cut them off at the knees from the ability of potentially finding uh, a, a major suit fit at the one level, all right? So the responder's second bid then becomes important after the, the, the opener's second bid. Okay, they're going to bid two diamonds with four plus diamonds if an unbalanced hand and, and has found no seven card bid. Okay, remember, we're trying to find a bid. Okay, uh, if, uh, okay, so, so let's, let's, take, uh, uh, let's take a look at a couple of hands here. All right, this first hand, We've got the opener, got 12 points, and they open one club. Okay, it's a little bit of a marginal opening, but they've got 12 points and he's got a reasonable shape. All right, so he bids one club, the standard American. We're going to assume that he bids the same thing as Walsh. So, what is the uh, responder going to do after the, the one club opener? Well, the responder's got four diamonds and four hearts in standard American he or she is going to bid one diamond, okay? Now, in Walsh, instead of bidding one diamond, he's going to bid one heart. He says, hey, partner, I've got four hearts and less than or equal 11 points. The one diamond here says, I've got four diamonds and six plus points. So you can see that the, the, the one heart bid is actually pretty specific in terms of shape and limiting the points. Okay, now let's see what happens. In the first one, I'm going to say this is a competitive auction, that second opponent, that nasty second opponent, enters the auction by bidding one spade. Okay, and you go, okay, bid one spade. Uh, and in, the, in Walsh, they also bid one spade, but what have we already found out? The opener, now because the, part, the responder has bid one heart, knows they have an eight card heart fit. However, in standard American, has no knowledge as a partner has 
or heart. Therefore, it goes past, past, past. And the contract gets passed out and the opponents have the contract at one spade. In the Walsh environment, because they know they got a 4-4 bid, the opener bids two hearts. Okay, so, and that's where the contract gets paid, passed out. So in standard American, the 4-4 the four, four heart bid is not found. Using Walsh, it does get found. So you can see there's a distinct advantage by giving priority to the major, by bidding the major suit with less than or equal to 11 points. All right, let's look at this hand. It's pretty much the same, except the responder's a little bit stronger. Opener again opens with one clock. Walsh, it's the same. And now the, the, the in standard American bids one diamond. It's got five plus diamonds, it's got nine, 11, 13 points. Well, what's he going to do using Walsh? He's going to bid one diamond also. You can see the parallel here. Okay, now the opponent bids one spade in each one of these situations. Okay, now it comes back around to the to the, the responder for his second bid. The opener passed. He bids two hearts. Uh, responder reverse. It's the same in both situations. Okay, so there's both of these allow the responder reverse to be used to show that they've got. Four, uh, five plus diamonds, four plus diamonds, and four hearts. Four, and actually the responder reverse allows them to show that they've got four, uh, four to six diamonds and four to five hearts. Okay, so they do find the four, four fit. Okay, and the, the contract can get passed out two hearts or they can explore game. All right, let's look at example number three. In this one, we, again, we have a one club pass open. Now, let's look at these hands a little bit. Okay, now, what's the responder going to respond here? All right, we've got uh, six, ten points. We've got four diamonds. Standard American, they're going to bid one diamond. Wall Street going to bid one diamond because we don't have a four-card major. We've got less than or equal to 11 points, but we don't have a four-card major. So we're going to bid the one diamond. Everything is going to proceed exactly in the same manner uh, in regard to the responder. Now, let's just back up for a second. Let's do a, a, a previous. Okay, in standard American, after the responder bids one diamond, unless the, the second opponent passes, the opener is going to bid his lowest rank. His If he's got a four card major, he's going to bid it. So he's going to bid one heart. Okay, which gives the opponent the opportunity of bidding one spade. Okay, now under Walsh, the opener is going to bid one no trump. Okay, bypassing, uh, showing the four hearts. Okay, so what this does is obstruct the first opponent from being able to show his long spades by bidding one spade. He might have enough to bid two spades, but we've precluded him from being able to bid one spade. So it has a really big obstructive value. And in this case, the opponents find a, a spade, bid, bid two spades, Okay, they win the contract, and using Walsh, it gets passed out, and we play the contract at one no trump, and we get a top board. So, what we're doing is preventing the opponents from finding the 4-4 fit by using Walsh versus allowing them to use it by using standard American. So, you can see the value of Walsh. It's something that everybody should put in place and use religiously. Let's look at another example here. In this hand, again, we're going to have the one club open pass. Now, let's look at the responder's hand. All right, we've got four, seven points, okay? We've got uh, five diamonds, okay? So what we're going to do in each one of these situations is bid one diamond, okay? Now, in standard American, uh, our partner is going, uh, the opener is going to bid one heart, and in the Walsh environment, because he's got an unbalanced hand, he's also going to bid one heart. Okay, so now what we know is our partner has an unbalanced hand. Okay, 
versus uh, in the and that our partner really isn't all that interested in playing in no Trump. Okay, so knowing that we have an, uh, our, our, the opener has an unbalanced hand, and we now know because they bid uh, one heart, they didn't jump, that we don't have enough points per game. So what is the question? Do we pass with knowing we've got a seven card fit and our partner really doesn't like no Trump? You betcha. So we're going to pass and the contract gets passed out at one heart. In the standard American, uh, we would bid one no Trump saying, hey, we've got a relatively balanced hand because the one heart doesn't communicate anything about the shape and the balance of the hand. Okay, now we're not real happy because we're in one no Trump. Okay, and we might end up losing a whole bunch of diamonds. Okay, we don't have a great no Trump hand. We're in hearts, we're in a lot better shape. So you can see how the, the opener second bid can be very instrumental in telling the responder the, the type of hand they have, balanced versus unbalanced, and a leading to the correct auction. All right, so uh, in this example, we get to one hearts, the better contract than one no Trump. And let's look at example number five. This is another one of these examples. Okay, we're gonna go one club again in both of the situations. Now in standard American, what is the responder going to bid? It's about 10, 12 points. All right, we're going, we've got 12 points. We're going to bid one diamond. We're planning on making a responder reverse in both of these situations. And we do. And, and uh, in both of them, then the second opponent passes and the, our partner bids, opener second bid bids one heart. Okay. Now, what we're going to do as in the using Walsh is we're going to bypass bidding one heart the opener and would bid one no trump. Okay, even though we've got two four card majors. Now, uh, and that tells our partner we have a relatively balanced hand, uh, with the opener has a relatively balanced hand with 12 to 14 points. Okay, now uh the uh we we would bid the uh after this, after the one no trump. Our partner, the responder, would bid two spades. I'll correct that in the handout. Okay, showing the responder reverse right then and there. So the one no Trump bidder now knows that they have a, a, a four card major suit fit. Okay, and uh, uh, the sink possibility for the game. All right, so in this case, uh, the the uh, because of the limited number of points, the uh, the the it was standard American. The opener is only going to raise the one spade to two spades, okay? And we really don't know. Very, we're not guaranteed in this particular sequence that the opener has four spades. Whereas using Walsh, it further extends the ability to use the responder in reverse to show that they've got the four four bid. Now the opener can very easily now bid three spades saying, hey, I've got the ability, uh, uh, I, I know we've got enough points per game, I've got four cards in your suit, and, and the responder then bids four spades. The, the make, by by using Walsh, it enhances the responses reverse, so it makes it easier to bid game, okay, uh, versus the other alternative where it's more difficult to get there. Let's look at this final, I think it's the final example, and I think this should probably be example number six, but we'll see. Okay, we've got one club, one uh, opened, and we're bidding one diamond in each one of these situations, okay? And the uh, the second opponent passes, and using standard American, uh, our partner bids uh, the opener bids one heart. Okay, they're going to show that four card major up the line. Using Walsh, they're going to bypass bidding 
one no Trump because they know that their partner is going to use the responder reverse and they'll find their 4 4 major suit fit if the responder's got 12 plus points. But so the responder, he bids one no Trump. Now, the in standard American, the, uh, the uh, responder is going to bid two diamonds. And in Walsh, the, the responder bids two diamonds. Now, what the the what is known though is the responder does not know whether the opener has a balanced hand or unbalanced hand. In the Walsh example, the opener knows that the opener has a balanced hand. Okay, and he's got uh, six diamonds, so he's going to bid two diamonds, and two diamonds in this case is a sign off. Okay, because. The opener knows that if he had more points, he would have bid the hand differently. So the hand gets passed out of two diamonds. So uh, we're going to bid the two diamonds with five plus diamonds when we haven't found a seven plus card fit. All right, that concludes the the, the lesson on Walsh. I mean, it's it seems like a very simple, straightforward uh, technique, but fully understanding how it what the advantages are with respect to the responder in prioritizing showing the major suit and the advantages to the opener by hiding that he has major suits and the effects it has on the opponents is really important and has a huge impact on the overall bidding system. All right, well, thank you for attending the, the, the course today. I hope uh, that's been helpful to you. Have a great day.